the power of music publishing, right? So look, look at this chart. This is your composition and your lyrics. And essentially the composition and the lyrics is the music publishing portion. Your songwriting and your sound recording. So you have all of these different streams of revenues and most people only focus on the middle, right? Most people only focus on your Spotify, your Apple Music, your YouTube, your Shazam, your Pandora, all of these different platforms, Amazon. However, they don't focus on the first one. Finding an organization that specializes, go typing in in Google, what organization helps people get movies and their music or compositions and movies, songs, commercials, video games? Finding an organization that, that does something like that and saying, all right, I'm going to work this first box, right? I'm going to try to find me someone that can help me. I got these 1,000 beats. We always talk about your intellectual property is no different than a piece of real estate. I got these 1,000 beats for these 1,000 pieces of real estate. First thing I want to do is let me see. Let me see how I can get these things in TV shows, video games, commercials, video games. That's what we consider, like we talked about earlier, to be a sink. The second thing is radio, TV, bars, clubs, and live music, right? So being able to figure out a way to not only do get your stuff in those sync places, but also get your stuff on the radio, on TV, in bars, in clubs, and also performing live music to where you can also collect those performance royalties. Right. The second thing you want to do is, which is um, self-evident, but a lot of times I find that a lot of producers don't do it. A lot of times you have producers that have their music essentially only on um, B-Stars Marketplace. They're selling non-exclusives. They have their things on B-Stars Marketplace, but we also have our distribution portal. And why that's important is because not only should you be monetizing your stuff on the marketplace, not only should you not be trying to get this stuff in TVs, movies, and on the radio and the TV and in clubs and doing live things, but you should also be monetizing your stuff via Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Pandora, because your music is no different than an artist or whoever it may be. You can monetize, and this is another stream that you can have. The third, the fourth thing is, like we talked about, your mechanical licenses or your mechanical royalties. What does that mean, Kyle? You want to make sure that you're every time someone's playing your music, you're getting all of your royalties that, that are owed to you. So by registering with a mechanical rights organization and collecting all of these royalties, you're putting yourself in a position to have a full stream of income. And the fifth stream is downloads. That's another place where you can get publishing and mechanical royalties is having downloads. So what happens here is you receive sync, those sync royalties, the performance royalties, and also those other um you know, types of mechanical royalties. And what that does is at the bottom, you just see a little man with all those things coming to him, right? And I think it's important that you understand um, as we wrap up here, your intellectual property, I'm going to keep saying it over and over again until y'all say, please stop saying that. It's no different than a piece of real estate. If you own a piece of real estate, these are, it's basically essentially, you got five rooms that run out here, Right? The first room, you're going to put somebody in there. That's for the TV shows. That's for your sync. The second room is your radio, your live music, your clubs, right? The, the third music is, you know, the streams and everything that you're going to get on Spotify and Apple Music. The fourth room is your mechanical rights organization. Your fifth place is your downloads. And then the master bedroom where you likely going to stay at, which is going to be on the top level, is your B-Stars Marketplace. And that's separate from what we're talking about here. But you want to make sure... If, your real estate and your ownership portion, your intellectual property, you have everything that you could potentially have and generate your income. Once you make sure you have ownership, you have all those things working in tandem and not just having one thing over here, one thing over here, one thing over here. You want to have everything working, right? 